are live, getting ready for our first 25 mile solo cruise. Solo voyage, and I got a haircut. <laughs> we are going from North Palm Beach down to Delray Beach, and I'm sure a lot of you are gonna have questions about where we are storing this boat, because that is one of the most expensive um, expenses for a boat, especially down here in South Florida. And we have a very wonderful privilege of keeping it at a family member's house down in Delray Beach who lives on the water. So that is one of the main reasons that we were able to purchase this boat is because we were able to store it for free. So it is a beautiful morning. Right back here in the canal it is glass water. So we're gonna see what it's like out in the intercoastal and take you along with for our first solo voyage. So let's get to our pre-departure checks. Yes. I'm Carly, this is Evan and Ripley. We have a dream to do America's Great Loop. Yep, we're young, dumb, and more naive than we ought to be, but we're sure a lot of people thought that when we got married at 23. Now we have dreams that are too big to wait until retirement and desires that eat away at us each and every day. Join us as we navigate all the planning and preparation before we set off for the Great Loop. Hey babe, yeah. why don't you put the D, the C batteries in that flare kit? Do uh, check down here. Oil level's good, that's a good sign. Want to record 796 is the engine hour? What? 796 is the engine hour. You want me to write it down? I mean, maybe we should in our notes. Oh yeah! She sounds good. We got water flow. It's good. Looking back on the footage while editing, it is very clear that this is where we made a wrong turn. Okay, so the only two are the back ones. Okay. I don't really know the best way to go get them. You know, it's this boat hook. Tells I'm gonna try and go back. You're gonna have to tell me how much space I got on both sides. You got a boat hook that you gotta try and use to get these off. Oh, We're moving. Yeah, I know. 
Babe, gotta throw me a rope, please. Up there, chuck me a rope and tie it onto a cleat. Dragon, take it up. More slack. Tied off to a cleat. Around it a bunch. Alright. We really gotta go through these because you're not supposed to. I know. Now this is hitting back here. Maybe what we'll do is just each pull ourselves back out of this, okay? Okay. Then we gotta undo the front one. Yep. Are you gonna throw it on? Or are you gonna grab it? I can just throw it. Your side more. Grab your side, use your pole right there. You off? Yeah. Off. Oh. Okay, stand by that post, please. Wide, baby. Straight out, 90 degrees. Wow, were we glad to be out of that slip and on our way. We were also glad to have our first backing out experience out of the way. And now having gone through it, we know what to do next time. All right, well, learned my first lesson. I have my coffee in here. It's closed, but it doesn't have a latch. And she spilled. So now I'm gonna clean that up and then join them upstairs. It sure has uh, been something. <laughs> Getting out of the canal was a little challenging um, with just us two. I think Evan did an incredible job because we just, uh, I don't know if we were 100% prepared. Maybe we should have talked it through a little bit beforehand, but at the same time, you can't talk it all out because you don't know how it's exactly gonna go down. But now we are here in what, this is what, Lake Worth? We're not in the city of Lake Worth? Blue Heron Bridge. But we're heading up on the Blue Heron Bridge, leaving North Palm Beach. We'll be passing all of downtown West Palm Beach. So I'm not gonna lie, we're a little nervous about some of the boat traffic. It's a Saturday during spring break. It's a gorgeous day. Not nervous, just we gotta be alert. Yeah, that's a good, I mean, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> We're gonna be fine, but we just gotta be prepared. Did you see that pontoon cut right in front of us? Yeah, yeah. it was so stupid. They had the, the, the tube laying yeah, out too. they were towing a tube with nobody on it. Yeah, and they cut right in front of us. So yeah, we just gotta be alert on our toes. And Ripley here. She's not so sure about it. She's never been on a boat this big. It's definitely more rocky up here. So I'm trying to make sure she has enough water, giving her lots of pets, but she's doing a good job. a little 
fun fact for those who don't know, new to the channel, new to navigating Mitzels, we got engaged in Joshua Tree. So if you see me wearing this shirt a lot, especially me. Our guess is that these boats are being shipped back from the Palm Beach Boat Show. Oh, if I was gonna grab that one, raise it. Oh, we're gonna miss it. You're loving it! Yeah! She's already getting better. We had one little scare, or it was a scare for her. It was pretty rocky and she got down and it was a little scary, but now she's chilling. Aren't you? You've got a good view, huh? Best view in the house. You know you're in Palm Beach when... Alrighty, update. Ripley, it's life jacket is off, smiles are out. We switched, Carly's driving. Doing a good job, keep this in the channel. Yeah, Evan is a nitpicky one. Look behind, don't worry about them. Keep going straight, hug the, hug the right. What's the depth? <laughs> Babe, how fast are you going? Like Evan. <laughs> so, what? beginning of boat marriage, it's good though. We are starting to break out the sandwiches. Um, it's about one o'clock or so. We've passed Peanut Island, we've passed downtown. Uh, we're getting into Lake Worth and boat traffic's slowing down a little bit, which is good. Um, now we're just in a wake zone. We are, we're getting a wake up call for like, just how some people are not courteous. Like they're not slowing down for us. We just went under the Southern Bridge and oh my gosh, like, the guy had the biggest wake, like one of the biggest wakes of the day. Yeah, no wake, and he uh, was on wake. We also, the whole uh, shoreline for West Palm Beach is no wake. And most people follow it, you know, if you've been there for the farmer's market, you see it. There was this cigarette style boat that came zipping through there, full speed. Did not know either what he was doing or just didn't care. Woo, 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 and then all of a sudden you hear, whoop, whoop, whoop. And they pull out of nowhere and they chased him down. So thank you to first responders for doing your job. We appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Especially newbies on a boat this size. Like, come on people. I know we were in a busy area, but still. One change from today is we are not towing the dinghy. We lifted it out of the water and put it on deck here. I don't know if that's helping us. I don't think it really matters, but less to worry about. We just passed Mar Lago and the Southern Bridge. We don't know if this is related to Trump or not, but we could be Coast Guard, some sort of military. Four choppers yeah, four. are going right by us. At this point, we were coming up on the George Bush Boulevard Bridge, which was the first bridge we couldn't clear without opening. Unfortunately, the camera microphone stopped working on us, which I didn't realize at the time. But here you can see we are using our VHF radio for the first time. We started to become concerned when we were getting no response from the bridge operator. We could hear surrounding boats, so we figured our radio was working. But were our signals not going through to others? It turned out that bridge operator was just, well, kind of lazy and wasn't responding to anyone. Eventually we made it through, but the nerves weren't gone just yet. Our next bridge was the Atlantic Avenue Bridge, which we also could not clear without having it drawn up. However, unlike the George Bush Boulevard Bridge, which opens on command, the Atlantic Avenue Bridge opens on the quarter and three quarter hour. We would be cutting it close and we're starting to make a plan for what we would do to stay in place for 30 minutes if we missed it. Unlike the George Bush Boulevard Bridge operator, we were getting a response from the Atlantic Avenue Bridge operator. He was an absolute angel and said he would hold it open for one more minute as we made our way at our steady six knots. 
If you're not familiar, that is virtually unheard of. So we were beyond grateful. Here I am praising the Atlantic Avenue Bridge operator for doing us a solid and helping us finish our journey to Delray on a high note. Once we cleared the Atlantic Avenue Bridge, it was go time and getting us prepared for our canal docking. I had our DJI action camera on my head as I prepped the fenders, but Evan and I made a very serious agreement that we would not prioritize filming over operating the boat in our safety, so I put the cameras away as we pulled into the canal. As much as I wish I had something going to showcase Evan's amazing skills, I'm glad we didn't risk anything, and maybe that was the good karma since our canal docking went off without a hitch. I couldn't have asked for a better docking experience. Evan absolutely killed it. He crushed it. Of course, the current was on our side, which was very helpful. Yeah, shout out to the current because yeah. it actually just pushed us right in there on the starboard It did. Side. We were talking on the way home and we said that we really needed that to go well because it just gave us the confidence to know that in the future, we know that we've done it before. And if the conditions aren't great or if we have a harder time, we know that we can do it. So we're really glad that it yeah. went well. <laughs> no, it worked out well. We used a spring line to kind of bring the yeah. bow in and then the stern kind of followed. Yeah. So it, it was, was nice. It was a great day. Um, it was Ripley's first cruise. It was our first solo voyage. And we're celebrating with some wine. So cheers. Cheers on the first excursion. Yes, we are back at our home in West Palm. Um, we are exhausted, as you can see, I'm in my glasses and comfy clothes, so... And the pork chop that is on the grill. <laughs> and we're this grilling. Perfectly time. So, with that, thank you for watching this video. If you have not liked and subscribed, we would be so appreciative. We have been so fulfilled with all the love we've gotten since buying the boat. And we are so happy that you are here. So, with that... Until the next one. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.